people often fear that life and vacation on the Maldives are boring because you can only eat, go to the spa and hang around at the beach. But this is so not true for the Hilton Conrads at Rangali Island. This luxury island has so much to offer. It will not get boring at any time. And as a pro tip, I will show you how to stay at this luxury island for just $50 a night. So stay tuned. A quick overview about this video. First of all, we will inform you about the COVID situation. We will also talk about massive hacks, not just to save money, but also to get out most of your stay. We will show you 10 different world-class restaurants. We will show you the different accommodation offers and we will show you what you can do on the island. The most important question, is it safe to travel to the Maldives during COVID? In 2021. Yes, it is. You will most likely stay on one island. Everyone entering that island and the Maldives in general needs to show a negative test result which is not allowed to be older than 96 hours. You don't need to go into quarantine. You only need the negative test result and you need to fill in a health declaration form online. There might be exceptions for specific countries so please make sure to check that online. The whole staff on the island needed to be quarantined for two weeks before resuming work after the Maldives reopened. So the hotel islands are pretty safe. Island hopping is still possible, so tourists are allowed to split stays between hotels. However, if you spend more than 48 hours in the Crater Malay area, you must take another PCR test before moving elsewhere. The good news, in most resort islands, like on Rangali Island, you don't need to wear a mask, which is a big plus. And travel is absolutely picking up and possible again. The Hilton Conrad was, for example, fully booked over Christmas and New Year's Eve. When leaving the island again, you can make a PCR test at the Hilton Conrad, so you don't have to worry about anything. To start with, the Hilton Conrads have the perfect setting, located at the southern area of the atoll where you can see whale sharks and where your boat is the first one on site because it's so close. So we just arrived at the launch and we're waiting now for our seaplane to leave. Uh, we were picked up by the staff directly um, at the Malay International Airport and now we are waiting for a seaplane. Let's start with the accommodation. In which villa to stay is probably the most difficult decision. But the good news is, there's no wrong choice. All villas are beautiful. Most people want to stay in the open water villas. And I agree, they are very special. However, don't underestimate the beauty of a beach villa. You're surrounded by the jungle with your own garden, pool, day bed, outside shower and you have your own private paradise beach. So this is how the standard beach villas look like. And this is how the deluxe beach villas look like. We also stayed in the grand water villa with pool and loved it so much and it's so spacious.
The standard water villas seem pretty small to me, so I would rather prefer to stay in a beach villa because you have more space and your own beach. I'm saying this because you need to keep in mind the tides. You cannot always jump from your water villa to the ocean doing low tide. But that decision is totally up to you. Let's talk about food. The Hilton Conrad's has 10 different world-class restaurants. Every single one has a different, unique, authentic atmosphere in a beautiful setting. You can enjoy a dinner at the Sunset Grill where you have a nice sunset atmosphere. Or enjoy some Chinese food at the Yuta. Japanese food at the Coco Grill, delicious and healthy food at the Mandu, or have a beach wipe dinner feeling at the Mediterranean inspired restaurant Vilu. By the way, breakfast is normally served at the Vilu or Utah restaurant. I prefer Vilu over Utah because the location is much more beautiful and you can travel by boat to your breakfast. Wine lovers should definitely check out the wine cellar and the wine bar. In the wine cellar you sit 2 meters underground with 15,000 bottles of wine and enjoy wine paired menus. And in the wine bar you get cheese fondue. Sounds weird? It's not. It's actually nice and cool in there because they have volcano sand from New Zealand which stores the coldness of the room and also the wine. Not fancy enough? How about the famous and first underwater restaurant Eater, where you can dine in an aquatic wonderland. You can also check out the buffet restaurant Atal Market with 8 global cuisines. But my favorites are probably the special nights they organize at the beach, like the Lobster and Champagne event, or the Maldivian Nights event. But you can always order in-room dining, eat at the cozy Rangali bar or the quiet zone, or have your private beach dinner as well. One tip for the restaurants. Many restaurants have really special dishes. For example, in the Chinese restaurant, the Ufa, where I'm right now, they have this really nice hot pot. Or in the Vilu restaurant, they have a whole fish baked in salt. But those special dishes, they need to be pre-ordered 24 hours. So make sure to check that in advance so that they are not sitting at the table and missing out the special dishes. Speaking of the restaurants, our first tip. I cannot recommend to book half board because with that you can only eat at a few places and with predefined meals. It makes more sense in terms of variety and financially to not book half board even when the hotel staff recommends that. You should rather book without so that you can try out all different restaurants and order a la carte what you want. The breakfast is included anyway. What else? There are tons of activities. You can go swimming with whale sharks. 
manta rays with turtles. You can go snorkeling and diving, you can go sunset fishing, big game fishing or join a dolphin cruise. And of course you can try out tons of water activities like jet plate, water skiing, wakeboarding, surfing, jet ski, stand up paddle or join the glass bottom boat. They also offer tons of fitness classes like yoga, boxing, pilates and much more. The gym is also open all day around. And there is a tennis court where you can get some tennis classes too. Some of them are even free, like the table tennis, beach volleyball, running and walking meetups and even boxing classes. And of course they organize private island escapes and boat tours. So there isn't really time for boredom. If you want to be all lazy, that's possible with some variation as well. You can hang around at your private beach when you book the beach villa or hang around at your open water villa. But you can also check out the main pool with its beach or the quiet zone with its infinity pool and beach. Or literally go to every beach wherever you want on the island. If you need some more relaxation, check out the spa. They have an open water spa where you can watch fish doing your treatment or the regular spa with tons of treatments. And if you need some more fancy clothes for your beach vacation, you can also enjoy some shopping in their boutique or get some nice souvenirs. And now I will show you not just how to stay here for $50 a night, but also some valuable hacks while you're here. The Hilton Honors membership pays off. You can redeem your points starting with 95,000 points a night for a basic beach villa and pay just $50 a night. Sometimes you can also book online the basic open water villa when the standard beach villa is already fully booked. And if you're super lucky, you might get a deluxe villa or a grand open water villa as an upgrade. Especially if you are a diamond member and if you're traveling off season. Next, when you are staying 5 nights with your points, you get the 6th night for free. Also, you should join the daily happy hour at Rangali Bar for free drinks and snacks. Afterwards, you can join the happy hour at the quiet zone with 50% off. You should also join the sunset fishing tour, which is not just a fun activity, but you can also eat your catch for dinner the next night for only $30, including as many sides as you want. And the best is to combine those two. Have your fish during the happy hour at Rangali Bar to get free drinks during your dinner. If you want to see man just for free without going on a tour, you should check out the bridge that combines the two islands at night, roughly between 9 and 10 pm. The bridge is lighted, which attracts plankton, and plankton attracts mantas, so they tend to hang around at the bridge at night. If you want to see the famous underwater restaurant, but you don't want to spend $800 for a two-person dinner, then you should consider the happy hour for $80 where you have one hour in the restaurant. If you go to the underwater restaurant for dinner, make sure to take all your pictures at the beginning, because at the beginning they are feeding the fish and at the beginning it looks super cool on your camera. But later it's too dark and there are not so many fish anymore.
And it's also worth to visit the Hilton Rangali Island during special occasions like your honeymoon or birthday where you get some nice surprises for free. I hope you liked this video. If you have any more tips or hacks about your stay at the Hilton Rangali Island, please share in the comment section with the community.